And so now we welcome you to the studio on Wake Up Central, joined by meteorologist Corrales Ortiz. Corrales, you know, the, the category EF3, which yes. is sort of in the middle, but on the heavier end, 165, isn't that almost an EF4? So, yeah, uh, right now, the preliminary reports from the National mm -hmm. Weather Service, when they were surveying the area, they're still going to continue to, you know, provide more updates. Right. Was it a consensus? It was a high-end EF3 with winds that reached up to 165 miles per hour. I do have a graphic kind of showing where that path is in general, because this path was a length of almost 30 miles. It began mm -hmm. just outside where the mm -hmm. Chenard Parkway is, or about four miles west northwest there in Pulaski County, ended just outside of the community of Austin in Lone Oak. Winds reached up to 165 miles per hour. And get this, the width of the actual tornado itself over just a little bit over a mile in width, a massive tornado. And I'm just honestly surprised and for, we're fortunate that not nearly as many as lives were lost as it tracked over the populated areas. So kind of talking about the EF scale or it's called the enhanced Vegeta scale, the, the range of the EF3 ranges from 136 to 165 miles per hour. So yeah, right at the cusp of almost an EF4 there. And regardless of whether what the impact or the strength of this was, we of course have been seeing many lives change from that. They usually use some of the damage or the debris of uh, the damage from the buildings to kind of assess um, the type of scale that we should give or the of, of this uh, tornado that tracked on through, of course. So we're going to continue to see more updates. Of course, there was other areas across the state that did see the potential of some uh, severe thunderstorm warnings and even tornado warnings that they also still have to assess as well. So we'll likely be seeing updates over the next several days from the National Weather Service. Again, I'll have a full look at your forecast, what we can expect heading into the new week, because unfortunately we have severe weather once again on the table. More details on that coming up.